Shalom. <clears throat> Giving our praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Raka Hakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. This is Street Ministry Preaching, March 1st, the year of 2022, the year of turn up. And as times, as the time go by, the men of the Lord, the hopeful elect, we sigh and we cry to the Lord to cast us not away from thy presence. This is Psalms 51st chapter, start with the 11th verse. Cast me not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. So that's the, that's the meaning of the day. <clears throat> we want the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, to cast us not from thy presence. And take not the Holy Spirit from me. All things come from the Holy Spirit. The, sp the Spirit of truth, the Spirit of understanding. And the spirit of faith. Faith is a gift. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And the joy of thy salvation is believing and knowing that the Lord is coming back to save his hope. His holy elect. Lord willing. The men of the Lord that's on the highways of Hager Street calling on the internet every day preaching are in that number. Restore unto me the joy joy of salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit and that free spirit is that free spirit is knowing that when you come into the 100% truth you are no longer mentally enslaved by the lies and deception of the wicked teachings of the wicked rulers here in Babylon the great America the 100% true the proper interpretation and manifestation of understanding comes from the elder apostles of great millstone of the holy bible the scriptures and that frees up your mind <clears throat> and it gives it gives you a free spirit so it's best to come into the, the truth 100 percent truth and repent and be converted and come back to serving the lord yahweh by shem yahweh shah is that simple verse 13 goes into what you'll be doing then will I teach transgressors. Who are the transgressors? The transgressors are any heathen that don't follow the ways, laws, and statutes of the Holy Scriptures. Because well, then will I teach transgressors thy ways. And what are thy ways? Thy ways is the law, statute, and commandments of the Holy Scriptures, the Bible. And what else? And sinners shall be converted unto thee. That's why we teach and preach. Because there is one third that's marked for salvation of the house of Israel. Two thirds are marked for destruction. Two parts shall be cut off and die. All the sinners of my people shall be shall die by the sword. Let the multitude perish that were born in vain. Is that something? And let my great be kept. <clears throat> so then will I teach. When you when you know and believe and you understand. And you have faith that the Lord has not cast you away. And that the Lord has not taken away the spirit from you. And that you believe that the Lord is going to restore you. And give you the joy of salvation. And uphold you and give you a free spirit. Then will you teach the transgressors. Thy ways, the Lord's ways, and sinners shall be converted. And that being converted goes into Acts three nineteen. Repent ye that repent ye and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. <clears throat> so that's what that's the whole reason for the teaching and the preaching on the highways, Hager Street corner, and on the internet, and especially the YouTube. The internet is the super information highway, and the Lord told the men to go on the highways and hedges. And compelled them to come in that my house may be filled. <clears throat> and that's the work of today. In these days and time. That the uh, 
hopeful like me is doing today. Signing, and crying, and preaching and teaching is that simple. So this is Psalms 51st chapter, 11, 12, and 13th verse. This is the morning, the morning Bible lesson to my brothers scattered all over the four corners of the planet Earth. This is the job of the elect to exhort one another daily. Every day we do this work, every day. And it don't stop, it won't stop till the Lord return. We occupy until the Lord come back, is that something? The Lord simply says be occupied in prophecies. And the prophecies of this day and time is that the Lord is coming back to destroy the wicked kingdoms of the planet of starting here in Babylon, the great America. <clears throat> and all the wicked heathen nations around the world. <clears throat> So, this is a daily work, a daily exaltation, and a daily edification. The men of the Lord are to exalt one another and put up these Bible lessons to edify the church. The great millstone church is a worldwide school. That's what I heard the elders say, it's a school. And where you learn the 100% truth and you build yourself up in faith, by being bold, declaring the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, daily, before the world. It says that the righteous shall be bold as a lion. And you got to be bold to put these videos up on the internet before the world to see. Make your videos private. You don't know who's, we don't know who's watching these videos. Salakia. <coughs> 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 mm, we don't know who's watching these videos. So we got to be a part of the, the job and the mission of putting up these videos because this work is for the heathen and it's for the believer. It's that simple because it's a warning that the Lord is coming back to put the, the, wicked, the wicked nations in the captivity slavery and they're going to receive double. What was done to us is going to be done to them. Double. It's that simple. Every last one of them shall go into captivity. He that live in captivity shall go into captivity. It's that simple. So, the men of the Lord are supposed to be involved in this work. And it's done through the spirit and power. And the faith in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. It's that simple. The date is March 1st. February, not February, March 1st. The year of 2022, the year of turn up. This is the year that started with Elder Taha all the way down through the Akiyam. It's supposed to be preached that this year, 2022, the Lord Yahweh Shah is going to turn up and increase the prophecies. And you can see that happen today in the news when you look at Russia and the Ukraine. You know, that could be the fulfillment where everything happens in gradualism. Everything happens in stages. You're going to see the scriptures being fulfilled, but it's going to be fulfilled in, in various stages, bits and pieces. I mean, Russia and the Ukraine in the news, that's Revelation 13, no, that's Revelation 11, chapter 14, verse. But you're going to see World War III happening, but it's going to, it's going to be built up by way of stages. Here a little, there a little, it's that simple. <laughs> Giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem. Rukaha Kudash, double honors to the elder apostles, the great most soul. I pray that let's be edifying to the flock and those seeking the truth, Shalom.